How is she? Stable. I'm afraid there's no change. Because of Hayward? Had it performed the surgery, it would have been the same result. Now what? We wait. We wait? That's it? That's your prognosis? We wait? I'm sorry, Mr. Slater. I know what you want to hear. I don't know when or if your wife is going to wake up. What's going on? What are you, can I get some help over here? What are you doing? What's going on with you? Dr. Barnaby, can you tell me what's going on? Oh my. What do you say? This man is having a heart attack. Nurse, can I get a nurse down here, please? Is she going to be OK? Well, let's hope so. Uh, did Dr. Barnaby have a chance to update you on Kendall's condition? Mm-hmm. And what did he say? Same as you, not much. Yeah, look, about that. I was extremely negative the last time we spoke. You? Get out. Come on. Well, I apologize. I was in a, a very dark place. I had just lost babe. But you should know, Zach, I was overly pessimistic regarding Kendall's prognosis. And now, what, are you singing a different tune? There's no change with Kendall. Well, that doesn't mean you should give up. Trust me, once you do that, there's no turning back. Mr. Slater. Dr. Farrington. From the Bristol Institute in Toronto. Specialist. Erica said you were coming over. Mm -hmm. Hi, how are you? This is my wife, Kendall. Mm -hmm. What can you do for her? Well, I need to run some more tests to determine the full scope of her coma. Anything you need? Uh, yeah, I'll need uh, you to sign this release. The medevac is standing by for transport. Transport? To the Institute? My wife isn't going anywhere. With all due respect, Mr. Slater. Your wife needs specialized treatment. With all due respect, doctor, what my wife needs is to be around her family. So either you can treat her here or find someone who can. It's pretty clear, I think. We'll be holding a room if you change your mind. Who was that? Uh, the specialist that Erica found. Well, wh why did she leave? Well, it turns out she can't help Kendall after all. Don't worry. You're not leaving. You're not going to Toronto or anywhere else. You're going to stay right here. Your boys need you. I need you. And I don't care how many specialists Erica sends over here. I'm, I'm not letting you go. You're going to stay right here until you come back to us. I uh, wouldn't go in there if I were you. Why? Has, has something happened? Zach met with a specialist. The whole Kendall going to Canada thing didn't exactly go over very well. But Kendall needs a specialized treatment program, one that this hospital can't possibly provide. Well, I mean, if, if, if Zach will not sign the transfer papers, then I will. No, I'm, he's her husband. If he doesn't want her to go, then there's nothing we can do. We'll see about that. No, 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 no. no. Let's, okay, let's just give him a chance to get used to the idea for a while. Fighting with Zach will just make him fight back harder, and that won't help him make the right decision. Dr. Farrington tells me that uh, you've decided against moving Kendall to the hospital in Toronto. It's never an option, Joe, never an option. The Bristol Institute is a world-renowned facility, Zach with an exceptionally high rate of success in coma patients. Well, this is not about statistics. This is my wife. Living, loving woman who wants to be around her boys. Yeah. I know how hard this must be. You don't know, Joe. How would you know? You don't know. I'm not going to give up on her. No one's asking to give up on you. Yeah. If I send her off right now, that's exactly what I'd be doing. She's better off right here with me.
get your strength back so you can keep fighting. You're almost there, I can feel it. All you gotta do is open those beautiful eyes of yours, all right? And when you do, I'll be right here waiting. No change? No. You know, my mom talked to the specialist again. She's convinced that she can bring Kendall out of the coma. Yeah. Well, then the good doctor can do it here. That's where her team is and her equipment. She she needs Kendall She's to go to She's not going anywhere. Zach, what if she Back could Back off! I know Kendall recovered here before, but she's not pregnant now. There are other drugs they can try. There are other techniques. My wife is already beyond my reach. I'm not going to send her hundreds of miles away. But what if she could come back to us? What if she doesn't? If you think it's forever, you blink, you turn around, you look away, it's gone. Dr. Kravitz, you have a visitor in the main Did that do us part? Dr. Kravitz? It's not just words any longer. I'm sorry about babe. Look, don't make my mistake. Okay, hold on to Kendall. Don't let go. Don't look away. And don't always assume that you have tomorrow. Get off of me, Hayward. Babe's death was not your fault. I was wrong to blame you. Holding Kendall's hand might make you feel good, but it's not gonna make her better. I know Dr. Farrington, she is the best. So if you want your wife back, you should put her on the next plane to Canada. He loves Kendall so much. Enough to let her go for a while? We've already lost so much. Erica and Bianca, they, they want me to send you away. Well, I can't do that. I need you here. So I can, I can see you and feel you and, you know. Yeah. I love you so much. And I love that you love me so hard, you never give up. But Zach, you have to let me go. I can't do that. Zach, yes? Is everything okay? Has anything changed? You're right. It's time to send Kendall Wish and get the help she needs. Thank you, Dr. Farrington. Uh, my wife and I will be there soon. Okay. You'll be there soon? Yeah, waste enough time. Can you and Reese help Rachel with the kids? Is that okay? Yeah, of course. We all will. Look, Zach, I know how difficult it is to let her go. Thank you. The sooner Kendall starts treatment, the sooner she'll be coming home. Can't have a wedding without my matron of honor. So you better hurry up and come home, okay? You've also got a new niece that I'm just dying for you to meet. And I know you're gonna love her. Kane women, feel our love. Feel our strength, honey. 
We've never given up, and we are not going to start now. We love you, sweetheart. Kendall, you get better now. You get strong.